Hello everyone, uh, happy Tuesday. Yes, I do have a Senior Tuesday haul for you from Goodwill. Um, you know, I really, I really did not get a whole lot from Goodwill. Uh, actually, I got better stuff, I think, at the Salvation Army. I always stop there after I go to the Goodwill just to see if they have anything new or exciting. And today, I was pleasantly surprised. So, let us get into this haul. Um, let me see, what did I spend? Of course, uh, oh dang, one of the items is in my garage too. I'm sorry, I was suddenly extremely parched. Gotta go get my receipts. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday. It is Goodwill Senior Citizen Tuesday Thrift Haul. Woohoo! Not. Wasn't very exciting at Goodwill today, unfortunately. Uh, I did get some stuff, but uh, nothing truly exciting. However, I went to Salvation Army afterwards and I found some really good stuff. I spent $104 at the Salvation Army. Holy cow. I can't tell you the last time I spent that amount of money at the Salvation Army. It has been a minute for sure. Uh, I spent $48 at the Goodwill. Hi, Sophie. Um... So, I guess, you know, I have, like, stuff everywhere, so I'm trying to figure, I guess, what should I do first? All right, I'm going to do Salvation Army first. Okay, so the colors today were white and blue were 50% off. And green, wait, white and green were 50% off and blue was 99 cents. OMG, I can never remember. But whatever, I spent $104. I guess it really doesn't matter. So let me show you what I got. I bought this just because it is so pretty and I really think this would be beautiful with um, some type of flowers in it or a plant. Uh, it's just beautiful. Look at this gorgeous creamer. The detailing, look at that handle. Look at the bottom. I mean, isn't this just beautiful? It is made by Pepper Tree Tabletops and it says fine porcelain. Um, it is made in China. 
but it is just beautiful. Uh, so if my memory serves me right, which I'm sure it doesn't, uh, with a white tag, it would have been 99 cents, but W, I was trying to remember the colors, W, white and green, white and green were 50% off, blue was 99 cents. So this was 50% off. 10 hours later, green and blue, or was it pink and yellow, or gray and black? Um, <sighs> item number one. Item number two. Uh, just a really pretty piece. <coughs> excuse me it's made by Anarco and it is just this little dish um it does look like it could be like an underplate that maybe a little pitcher sat in perhaps but I thought it would just be pretty as a trinket dish I thought the flowers on it were really pretty so I got it Uh, and of course, um, Christmas stuff was 50% off. And I'm assuming, hopefully, that um, these were given to me at half price, which would have been $1.25 a box. These are gorgeous. You have to see them out of the box. They're like little candy dishes. Um, Savoir, Savoir Vivre, <laughs> I can't speak English and I definitely can't speak French, Savoir Vivre, Japan, isn't that beautiful, I just think they're gorgeous, that's the bottom, so, so pretty. Just a little shallow, you know, candy dish. You could put, I have two of them. I bought both of them. So, uh, I mean, you could set them on your coffee table and put little treats in them. But I really thought they were, they were very, very pretty. So, there's those. Okay, well, excuse me, I'm going to put this over there. All right, next, um, I was a little leery about buying these I, this item here because I could not find an expiration date on it anywhere, but I looked them up on eBay in the solds and they sell for like $100 a piece and they're $1.99. Look at one ninety nine. There is nowhere on the box an expiration date, and there is nowhere on the actual cartridge an expiration date. So I thought to myself, well, self, buy a couple, sell them on eBay and see what happens. I mean, if I can make $98 on one of these, like that's just about the whole haul. And then, as long as nobody complains that there's anything wrong with them, I'm gonna be mad that I didn't buy them all. But, we'll see what happens with them. So like I said, I did buy two of them and uh, we'll see. Then I got this little uh, snowman, adorable figurine. 
the one little guy is missing his nose. However, y'all know I will pull my polymer clay out and I will fashion him a little nose and fix it. Look how cute these are. Look at them. <laughs> I love them. I love, I love this one's hat. It's awesome. And then they have little snowflakes and it's um, made of resin and it was just adorable. So I definitely grabbed this one and I will fix him right up. I got myself, as if you remember, um, I mentioned in one of my videos that I was going to try and get rid of all of the plastic, uh, cheap plastic glad and uh, rubber made um, containers and try to replace them with some Tupperware. So today I found this really nice piece right here. Looks like brand new. I mean, excellent condition. If I could get this lid off. <coughs> Gazuntite. Pardon me. Um, excellent condition. And these were, uh, oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. These were not from Salvation Army. Those are Goodwill. I screwed up. Hold on there. Let's move these over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Forget you saw those. All right. I found an amazing canister set. And I could not believe that there was minuscule damage to any of the four of these like tiny little, tiny little tidbits. Like it's unbelievable. So ho hold on, let me quit talking and put these together. I was so excited. Hang on, we're getting there. All right. So these are GOZ Lefton canisters. I will show you each one. So we will start with the smallest one. Uh, so here it is. <laughs> So I think I paid like $9 for the whole set because they were all priced individually. This one was uh, not on sale. Yellow was not on sale. So this was $2. This one was $3. This one was $4 and this one was $5. Now, when I tell you these are in like excellent condition, there's no chips anywhere on this one. I mean, I checked these out. Um, there's a little teeny like um, paint chip here on the underneath of the bottom of the biggest one. And I mean, when I say minuscule, I mean like, yeah. Let me put this down here. I checked all the lids. This one just has like some wear. It's not a chip, it's just paint wear. Um, but like they're, the apples and the leaves are all intact on the tops. This one, 
Okay, so this one has, I didn't, I didn't even notice that because somebody must have touched this up. Um, right here, see this? That is a smoothed over chip, but it has the paint and glaze right over it. So I don't know if that happened in manufacturing because who would have this glaze? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I think that probably happened in the manufacturing um, because the glaze and everything, it's the same color. You could see the glaze drip down here. So um, little teeny, little teeny uh, chip there. But there's Geo Z left in. So there's that one. Put that one down here as well. Make some room so I can move around. Then we have this one. Now this one uh, has paint loss. It's not a chip. It's, it's paint loss where it wore off. Um, again, like very, very minimal little like see here, no big chips. I mean, it's amazing to me that these are in this condition. I could not believe it. I was like, oh my God, no way. And here is the smallest one. Oh, this one still has its actual sticker. And this one has absolutely nothing wrong with it like nothing not a chip nothing so yeah awesome canister set i actually i really love these so i'm thinking i may trade these ones out for the treasure craft ones that i have um and maybe i'll sell the treasure craft but i don't know because those are a lot heavier than these are so i don't know i'm not sure if anybody is interested in the treasure craft canisters that i have they are the ones that are brown on the outside and they look like wood you know like a tree and then they have the like uh fruit on them that are uh like the different colors, like they burst in the kiln and make the different colors in like green, orange, yellow. They're, I'll, I'll insert a picture so that you guys can see. Um, if anyone is interested in them, then you can let me know. But, so that was an amazing find, I thought, uh, at the Salvation Army. I couldn't believe it. Okay. I found a fairy lamp, but not like Indiana glass or any of those. I haven't found one of those in probably like two years. But I did find another home co. Beautiful. I have this exact one sitting on my buffet in my living room and I love it. It's so gorgeous when it's lit up. So, yes. that um this is so cute how cute is that 49 cents this would be like 539 at the goodwill 49 cents. Look how cute. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. This hair, I can't stand it. I got to chop these bangs off. Okay. Got this brand new Catopoly game. Um, brand new sealed Still in the shrink wrap. 
It got ripped when I had it in the bag with the other stuff, but brand new. Believe it or not, this game in the sold listings on eBay sells for $25. Yeah. Guess where I'm listing this? <laughs> and I only paid $2.99 for it. So, can't beat that. Now, if you guys remember, um, a couple videos ago, I showed you this very cool um, fish platter. Uh, I believe that the handles in that may be Bakelite. I'm not positive. And one of my subscribers said that she has the glass plate that fits in here. And I said, oh, I didn't even know that it was supposed to have a glass plate. So today I found this. Now, uh, it seems like it fits in here. I will show you. What the heck was that? One of the cats must have knocked something down. But here you go. It's got the same... Look at that. Perfect. Yep. So I was definitely grabbing this. There is actually two of them. And I'm glad I picked the right one. <laughs> so yeah. So this will be with this. And there's the set. And it's actually made by um, Inland, Inland Glass. Is the maker of this um glass plate and I don't know who makes the actual I see nothing on here as for the maker so probably because it was on here so there you go fits in here perfectly So there we have that. Let me move these because I don't want to knock the canisters over. All right. Oh, hi, Binks. He, oh, here he goes. See, he's okay. <laughs> Always got to be right in the middle of everything. Always. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Come on. Come on down and sit on mom's lap. Okay? Sit on mom's lap. Be a good boy. I found my very first longer burger basket today. Yep. I was walking through, going to the back of the Salvation Army, where they have the furniture and the appliances and stuff like that. And on one of the dressers that was back there, I saw this basket. I'm like, oh, I'm going to check it out. I said, I'm sure it's not a Longa Burger, right? I pick it up. It looked really well made, you know. I picked it up and I turned it over and lo and behold, there it is. $1.29. I could not believe it. I have never found a longer burger basket other than at estate sales. So I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my goodness. And I know that they're like old news and everything now pretty much, but they do still sell for a decent amount. So I definitely was going to pick that up for $1.29. Heck yeah, all day long. You better believe it. Um, then I got this adorable, I know, Halloween. <laughs> Look at this little guy, though. How cute. He still has his tags and everything. He is adorable. And he was only 99 cents. Now, he's got a little dirt 
I saw a little dirt somewhere that I could wash off. Oh, right here on his little toes. That I could wash off with a washcloth and a little bit of um, Dawn and it'll be gone. I mean, it's brand new. And he is so cute. I mean, look at how cute, look at his face. Oh my goodness. So I had to pick that up. Uh, let's see if I could set him on there. That'll work. I have Binks on my lap falling off. I'm waiting for him to dig his nails into my leg. Oh my goodness, guys. I am so sorry. I hate when they're itching my forehead. It drives me nuts. I hate it. I don't know why I got bangs again, but I did. And they're getting on my last nerve. So end of rant. And uh, I got some clothes. I'm sure you guys could care less about clothes, but I'll show you anyway. Um, I just got a pair of khaki green um, straight leg or skinny, whatever you want to call them, pants. I didn't even try them on. I hope they fit. So I got those. Then I got three pairs of LuLaRoe leggings. These were all regular price. None of, none of the clothes I got, I don't think were on sale. Um, I got this one. I just liked all the colors. I got these. Oh, these are so cute. Little mini heads on there. Look how cute. <laughs> these are tall and curvy. They'll fit much better than my other ones because the other ones are one size. And when I sit down, the waistband rolls down below all my rolls. And it's a little uncomfortable. Yeah, so hopefully these will stay where they're supposed to be. And then I got these. Love, love, love the colors. I have an orange shirt and a yellow shirt that will go with these. And uh, yeah, the orange and the yellow. So that'll work. Then I got this white, uh, just a white, a long white uh, cotton blouse, which I know I'm probably going to have to iron every time I wash it and dry it because I could tell, you know, um, Hunt Club Extra Large. So we'll see. Uh, then I got, oops, I just dropped my other shirt on the floor. Then I got this one to go, just a nice long black shirt. This one's a large. And I just liked that it was a nice long one to wear with my leggings to cover the big old bubble butt. Yeah, this is what's her face oh what's her name <laughs> let me see susan graver apparently she sells clothes on qvc or something like that i had no idea who she was um until my subscribers told me because i had one of her shirts that i found a long time ago but this one is gorgeous. Look at this, you guys. Isn't this beautiful? It's got the pretty, like, three-quarter length sleeves. So pretty. And it also has this um, tie that goes around, you know, like this, which I probably won't wear. But, you know, you get the idea. Yeah. That would drive me nuts. So, I got that as well. This, I don't know if I have any, um, any pants that that will go with. I'm not sure. 
if I do not, then I will uh, resell this. Okay. Um, was that? Oh, no. Then I thought I was done with Salvation Army, but no, 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 I am not. I grabbed this um, for my desk. Um, right now, I just have a plain um, gooseneck light, but this one is nice because it has all the compartments for your paper clips, staples, pens and pencils. Uh, I have a small stapler, uh, so I can get rid of the, the holder that I have on my desk that's taking up room because I have this two-in-one, the lamp with um, the supply holder. So I was glad to find this and it works perfectly fine. I already, um, had it on and it works great. So I got that for myself. Put that over here. And also for myself, I purchased a, an air popcorn popper. Uh, it's made by Presto, and it seems to be in good condition. Um, I did not plug this in when I was in there like a big dummy. I usually always plug them in and test them, and I don't know why I did not. But um, I think if it doesn't work, I think I can take it back because it's electronics. But um, so we're going to try it out. Let me see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, the plug is right over here. If I can get at it. Whoops, sorry guys. <laughs> We're stuck. So I just have to clean it up and then I'll be good to go. Perfect. Set this over here. And uh, let me see. Is that everything from the Salvation Army? I believe so. So, I mean, not bad for $104. I mean, absolutely not bad. Especially if um, these cartridges, these ink cartridges or toner cartridges um, sell for $100 a piece. Looking good. Okay, so now Goodwill. As I said, I spent $48 at Goodwill today. What did I get for $48? Well, um, not a whole heck of a lot, but it's not too bad. I One thing I really wish had would have had the fourth cup, but it does not. And it is this awesome uh, mug holder with three out of the four Japan cups upside down. <laughs> Um, look at these cups. Mushrooms. Love them. So it was the four. Should have had four. Only has three. But you know what? If you have this on your counter and it's up against the wall, who's going to know that the fourth cup's not there if you're only going to have it for display purposes, right? So that's why I grabbed it. And I'll clean it up and um, it'll be for resale. I paid uh, blah, 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 four twelve. All right. Then I got this little cutie. Uh, I have the snowman that actually matches her. Look at her face, first of all. She is just beautiful. Um, she's like um flocked and 
you can see like the flocking on her hat. It almost looks like, um, you know how uh, corduroy has that, not corduroy, what is it? What's, what's the fabric I'm talking about? I can't think of it. But um, yeah, you could see the flocking. And as I said, I have a snowman that is the exact colors and everything. And it's about, oh, it's about 12 inches tall. And I always put him on my baker's rack uh, for Christmas. And he was out this year. So when I saw her, I said, well, I have to get her because she's going to have to, you know, be with him over there. And she is just a little cutie. So that is mine. Uh, I got fall stuff and I couldn't help it because I liked it. I got this adorable ceramic pumpkin for $2.12. No cracks, no chips or anything. Um, I have no idea who makes it, but you could definitely, um, put a candle, you know, put a candle in a glass votive holder and just set this down on top and he would be all lit up and looking mighty cute. So I was not leaving him on the shelf. No way. He's so cute. Good old Jack. Then I got this. All fall colors. I could not help it. Um, the stickers on the bottom, uh, let me see. It says birthday, August 15th, 1908. Can't be. What does that look like to you guys? So... I don't know how long that has been on there, but it does look like it says 1908. And it is this beautiful, look at the fall colors in this picture. It's just gorgeous. It's probably five inches tall. So I grabbed that, that was really cool. I don't know where this came from, uh, but it is a little cutie and I had to grab it. It is this little owl. Um, it's probably a napkin holder. However, you're not gonna fit too many napkins in there. So I thought it could also be used um, to hold your mail, um, you know, in the kitchen. Uh, whatever. You could use it for napkins if you have like really thin napkins. <laughs> but he's cute and there's no no name or the sticker came off, so I don't know. But again, fall colors, cute. Then I got this. Look at this little set, salt and pepper shakers in the little wagon. How cute are these? <laughs> Absolutely adorable. So we got those. Then I got another beautiful Avon Cape Cod piece, this gorgeous bell. Um, I think I recently sold... Um, the bell with some other pieces, I think. Um, I know I just sold the decanter and three of the small glasses. Then I had a creamer that I sold. I think I might have sold a bell too. But anyways, I got another one. It's just so pretty. I love that color red. It's so deep and dark and gorgeous. So we got that. Then I got, um, this is, this is an older, um, item. I believe this to be from, oh, I, I hazard to say 40s, 50s. Um, 
This is a smaller uh, one. I actually have a tall one of this exact picture, but it's missing the lid. It does have a lid. No, uh, no cracks or chips. So that would be nice for juice or whatever. Nice. Then I found these cute uh, salt and pepper shakers for someone that has like a Mediterranean vibe or a Tuscany vibe in their kitchen. Look at these. Aren't they cool? Uh, these are made by CIC. They both have their stoppers and one of them still has salt in it. So I was looking at them in the store and I turned this one over to see and the salt poured out all over the place. I'm like, oh brother, can you please empty the salt and pepper out when you donate your shakers, people? Really? Nobody wants some old nasty salt and pepper. Uh, oh, then I got this little cutie pie. This, um, I believe, well, I don't know. I, at first I thought maybe it was somebody's ceramic piece because it, it certainly does look like it. I'm pretty sure it is, but they did not sign it. It is this little Dalmatian. Look at those eyes. They've got a little bow on her. <laughs> excuse me again pardon me look at that little tail absolutely adorable <laughs> so I got that from my dog lovers and then I want to save this for last because this is kind of like my favorite item um I got some crafting things for for my people out there that love to do scrapbooking and stuff like that, junk journaling, whatever it may be, um, this is, it's called Your Story, and it's, it's an album kit, and it says that it comes with uh, an 8 by 8 inch album, album cover, 11 double-sided printed pages, um, eight by eight, three sheets of stickers, eight by eight. So it's brand new in the box. And apparently, I mean, it has all the stuff on the back that, you know, I guess this is other stuff that they make. So I thought, yeah, I'll grab that. That'd be great. So we have that. Um, I got this for myself. Um, it had no price on it. So I brought, when I brought it up and I said, this doesn't have a price. She goes, oh, we'll do 89 cents for it. I'm like, works for me. It's this beautiful binder. Um, it's probably a two inch. I love it. I needed it for all of my paperwork from um, my live sales because I keep it. So I thought it was real pretty. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So that is mine. And then I got this uh, scrapbooking item. So... It looks to me like it is, this is like a cutting mat, okay? And then you take this off and inside it has, if that will stay open, uh, paper, lined paper. Um, it has this to hold things in. It has all these stickers, all these different pages. It's hard for me to hold this up. 
They all have like pockets. Oh, pardon me. Um, yeah, so it has all of these pages and then it has this, which I don't know what that is because I don't really do scrapbooking. Um, And then it has this uh, with a pocket here to put stuff in. And it has this and this. Oh, there goes my pop. So I thought that this was a really, really nice um, item for um, anybody that does scrapbooking. Um, really, really nice, brand new. So I grabbed that. Let me put this stuff back over here. Um, of course my pop fell on the canister, but luckily it didn't break it. Um, okay, so then I got these three pieces of Rubbermaid containers. I have two of these and just the one of this one. So these are for me. Wash those up. And then I got this set. These are really cool. They have a little bit of weight to them really, really nice. They look like they're pewter, uh, but these are Pottery Barn. And it's a set of three candle holders. You get the three graduated sizes and they're in pretty good condition. Um, I, I, got, I, I paid $4.12 for all four of them. They have some wear on the top, of course, where the candles go. See? But of course, they need to be cleaned as well. Um, I haven't cleaned them or anything, but... Yeah, Pottery Barn. I was like, no way. These are really, really nice. In fact, I was thinking of keeping them. I'm not quite sure yet. But if anybody's interested in them, let me know. And that may lead me away from keeping them. <laughs> so there's those. Um, oh, I did buy one other thing at Goodwill. Um, and it is this really nice um, outdoor rug. Uh, it's probably like, I would say maybe five, five by four in size. And I basically bought it to throw out on my front porch in the summertime. Um, and I paid like five something for it. And I just left it out in the garage when I took it out of my car. So, but I did also get that. Um, and I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything aside from this last item. I think I have showed you everything. Um, yeah. Uh, the last thing I got, I just love this, is this. It's an owl. Uh, you can put wax melts in here. Um, that's what was in here when I bought it. Um, and I just plugged it in and heated it all up and then dumped it out and cleaned it out. Um, but I, it, it's for wax melts or I'm assuming you could put the liquid, um, stuff in here too. Um, but it works perfectly fine. I had it plugged in and I just think he's awesome. I got to take the rest of the sticker off. Uh, and he's a good size too. He's he's a good size. So he's he's my one of my favorites that I got today. I love him. So that is going to do it for this uh, Salvation Army and Goodwill haul. Um, 
not too bad. I don't think I did too bad for $48 at the Goodwill. I got a lot of good stuff for sure. And I definitely got a lot of good stuff at um, the Salvation Army for what I spent. And, you know, like I said, if those, um, those uh, toner cartridges sell and they're okay, I mean, how do you know unless the person uses them? I mean, they're brand new in the boxes. You know, most of the boxes were still sealed. So, and, and like I said, there was a couple boxes that were opened. So I took one of them out to look at the actual cartridge to see if there was an expiration date on it anywhere. And I couldn't find one anywhere. And like I said, I don't see it on the box either. So maybe it doesn't have an expiration. I don't know. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll list them on eBay and, uh, you know, take my chances, see what happens. So, uh, yeah. So, um, all of my packages got mailed out today, except for two from my, um, my Wednesday sale with Jackie and my regular sale on Saturday. Everything got picked up today by the mailman except two packages I'm waiting for payment for. for. Um, and uh, let me see. And of course, you know, I'm having, I have my sale every Saturday at the same time, 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, I don't know. Um, if I'm going to do any more thrifting this week or not, I am not sure. Um, we'll have to see, you know, see what happens. I don't ever plan. Like, I always plan on Tuesday, obviously. But if I go at any other time during the week, it's usually like, you know, not planned. If I'm out, happen to be out and about and I'm by, you know, <laughs> Either one of them, I'll go, or I'll pop in at Fuller's, or, you know. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, just uh, to let you know, this Saturday, I'm going to have um, some nice milk glass items. Because someone was asking, you know, about milk glass. And as I said, I do have a ton of it that I'm going to be selling off. So, I am going to have quite a few pieces of milk glass, as well as my normal other this, that, and the other. <laughs> so I uh, hope to see everybody for, for the sale. And um, I will let you know um, what donations that we got towards uh, the SPCA uh, when we, uh, well, we <laughs> raffled off, or not raffled off, you know, offered up uh, the doorknob <laughs> from my bedroom door, which I still have to get another doorknob. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so we'll uh, give you an update on that on Saturday. Um, and I guess that is going to be it, everyone. So uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. If you like this video and you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. We usually have a lot of fun here on this channel. And uh, I would love to have you. So don't forget to comment share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you real soon. Bye for now, guys.